Hey guys, welcome to the next video on OpenCV tutorial for beginners using Python. In this video, we will talk about bitwise operations on images using Python and OpenCV. So bitwise operations can be very useful when working with masks. Masks are binary images that indicates the pixel in which an operation is to be performed. So let's see how we can perform bitwise operations on images. So to start with, I have here one image, which is image underscore one dot PNG file. And let me show you the image also. So this image is half black and half white. Now the second image I'm creating using NumPy. So first of all, I have used NP dot zeros and I'm just creating this image with the same dimension as this image underscore one is having. So 250 comma 500 is the dimension of this image and the number of channels are three. And this code is going to create a black image as you might already know from our previous videos. Now this code is just creating a white rectangle inside the black image which we got from numpy's zeros array okay so this is the dimension of the rectangle inside your black image and the color of the uh, rectangle will be white because this is 255 comma 255 comma 255 and we are taking thickness as minus 1 that means your rectangle will be filled with white color. Now here I'm just uh, showing both the images using I am show method and this code you might already know what this is doing from our previous videos. So let me run this code and let's see what happens first of all. So when we run this code you will see first image is this one which we have created using the numpy is zero so this is img1 and this is the black image and we are just creating a white rectangle inside this uh, numpy zeros image and this is the second image which is half black and half white now we want to perform some bit wise operations on these two images so let's see how we can perform these bitwise operations on these two images. So to perform these uh, bitwise operations, we have some methods inside the OpenCV library. So the first method will be bit and. So I'm going to just create a variable called bit and with uh, let's say like this and the method inside OpenCV is cv2 dot bitwise underscore and. So this bitwise underscore and takes several arguments as you might see here, the source of the first image, the source of the second image and the destination which is none by default and the mask which is also optional. So we are going to just provide our images here. So I'm going to provide the img2 here, first of all, as the first argument. And the second image will be img1. And once we perform this bitwise and operation on these two images, we are going to show the result in the form of window. So I'm going to create one more window, which is cv2.imshow and i'm going to name this window as uh, let's say bit and and the second argument will be our variable bit and which we got from the operation bitwise and on these two images so let's run this code once again and let's see what happens so now as a result we have the third image so let me just open all the images so this is our first image this is the second image and the last one is the result which is the bit and operation on these two images. So now you might already know how the logical end works but those of you who might not know how the logical end works 
let me show you the truth table of logical end so this is the truth table of logical end and if the input a and input b b is zero then we get the result zero okay if input a and input b either of them is zero then also we get zeros right the result one we will only get when both the sources are one so a and b are one then only we will get a one in case of and logic so same and logic will work here so this is the zeros array right so we have created this black region from the zeros so here in these images black is performing as zeros and white part is performing as one so when zero and zero the result will be zero right so from this truth table we have seen when the input is zero and zero the result is zero same here we are seeing so when the image is black and black we get the result black when the input is white and black this means zero and one the result will be once again zero using the logical end but when the input will be white and white that means one and one the result will be white that means the one okay so the only reason region white here is the result of this white and this white and the resulting image you can see here and all the other part is uh, black because the end operation on zero and zero is zero and zero and one is also zero so this is how a uh, bitwise end works let's see how bitwise or and other operation works so i'm going to just comment this code and now we are going to just create the bitwise or operation so for that i'm going to just uh, instead of writing bit and i'm going to just write bit or and instead of bitwise and we are going to just write bitwise or here and then we will simply call this uh, image using i am show method so we are just calling here bit or now let's run the code once again and let's see the result so you can see the result here so let's see the truth table so in the logical or if only one input is one then the result will be one so either a or b is one or both are one then the result will be one and if both inputs are zero then the result will be zero so same you will be able to see here so when the first source and the second source is zero the result is zero but when the first source and second source is one or white the result is white when the first source and the second source is uh, zero and one or black or white the result is once again one or white here okay so this is how the logical or works on the image now let's uh, see how uh, the xor operation work on those images so i'm going to once again uh, comment this code and this time i'm going to just perform the xor operation on these two images and now we are going to run this code once again and you will see this kind of uh, result so once again let's see how the xor logic works so when both the inputs are zero or both the inputs are one then we will get the zero and if either a or b is one then only we will get the result one so same you will be able to see here so when uh, both uh, first and second source is zero the result is zero 
when uh, both the first and second source is 1 you can see here and here the result is once again 0 here right but when the input is 0 and 1 result will be 1 and in this case also the black and white will result in the white image which is the logical XOR operation. So once again let's uh, close this and now let me show you how the NOT operation work. So I'm going to just comment this code and then I'm going to just use the bitwise NOT. So here bit NOT let's say we will perform the bit NOT on the first image and the second image. So I'm going to just write uh, bit NOT on the first image because it only takes one argument bit not is just the opposite of the source so if you get the input 0 then the result will be 1 if you have the input 1 the result will be 0 so the opposite of the input so let's perform this operation on image 1 and image 2 and let's comment this code and we are going to just show these two result windows using the I am show method and also I need to change uh, this name otherwise we will face problems and here also I haven't changed the name of uh, these I am show windows so let's uh, change the name of these windows and let's run the code once again and now you will get these results so we will get the first result so the first bit not one is the not of uh, the first image and bit not two is the not operation on the second image so you can see wherever we have white we got black and wherever we have black we got white so just the opposite of the input here also wherever we have the black region we got the white uh, image here and wherever we have the white pixel we got the black pixel so, so this is how bitwise not operation works on the images so these are some of the bitwise operations which you can perform on your images and as i said bitwise operations can be very useful when working with masks which we will see in the later videos so stay tuned and keep watching these videos and I will see you in the next video.